lunch day. It's such yeah. a lunch day. Brought to you in part by Lindsay Probate Judge. No, she's oh. not Probate Judge. That's Judge, I don't think. Really? Shit. Oh, yeah, they just loaded. Just oh. fix that. Brought to you in part by Community Bank. No, no, no. Brought to you in part by Goober Peas. Oh, they can't get their little goobers out. Bold peanuts. I need to think of funnier things to say on here because I don't know why Fernando likes the dollar store when I said some lame ass jokes. Um, I don't even remember what you're talking about. I don't know. Oh, yeah. That's really not funny, is it? No, it's not. Ha, 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 ha. Is the place of mine. Your tarp's flying off there. Oh. Wow, so that was a mail truck. How could I tell? Because its balls were hanging off the back. No. See, they tell funny jokes. I can't. You I can't. suck at jokes. George and George. I need what? funny jokes. I can't. Uh, you can't think of funny jokes? I'm going to tell the horsey joke, the midget and the horse. Ah. It's a bad, dirty joke, but... Things you hear from grandparents. Okay. So this little guy, he was a midget. He saw an ad in the paper that there was a, a mare for sale. Explain to them what a mare is. A mare is a female horse. Okay. And so he went over to the farmer's house, you know, and he knocked on the door. And the farmer looked out. There was nobody there. And then he looked down, and there was a little midget guy. Sorry. And so he says... I'm here to see a horse, because he had, see, he had a, uh, lip. No, he had a, what was this called? Lip. Oh. Lip. Yeah. Oh, a hair lip? Yeah, he had, he was hair lip. And he said, I'm here to see the mare. And then, you know, he's talking like that, because, But, see, so he says, okay, he takes me down to the barn. And he says, you know, you can, you can tell a lot by a horse by their ears. <laughs> Do you mind if I look inside her ears? And he said, no. Well, as you can see, I am a midget, and so can you please pick me up? So the guy, okay, and then picks him up, and he looks in the horse here, yeah, 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 very good, very good. And the guy puts him down. And so, and then the guy, and then the little, little guy says, you can tell a lot by a horse by his mouth. And the other fellow inside her mouth, and then the farmer says, go ahead. And so he says, as you can see, I haven't gotten any taller since I got here. So can you please lift me up? And the, far the farmer, you know, sighs, all like, oh, come on. And then lifts him up and looks inside the horse's mouth. Oh, yeah, very, very good, very good. And then, can I see her twat? Sure! He picks him up and shoves him in the horse, you know where. I'm telling by the... And then he pulls, puts the little guy down and the little guy goes, let me replace that. Can I see her canner? Uh, ah, I think that's the funniest thing I've ever told on here. You're funny, Caitlin. You're a real joke. Learned that joke from my grandmother. That's wonderful. Linda said she hates it when Grandma tells that joke. Why? Because it's so dirty. Uh, she hates it. And they'll be on rides, and you know, it'll be time to tell a joke. Uh -huh. You know, Linda will tell one of her jokes. And Linda should talk. She's dirty. Of course she is. She's Linda. We haven't filmed in Papa John's yet. No, we haven't filmed. Yeah, we got a new Papa John's here. What now, society? Yeah, and so thanks to George's the bouncer's daughter today, she said she was having Papa John's, so now I have one. And it just so happens we have a Papa John's here, and it's like brand new. Yeah, the first time we got pizza from here, they didn't cut it. Yeah, that was fun. I've worked at home. Seven years. Seven years ago. Hi, welcome to Oh, it smells so good. Pick up for Beck. What's the name? Beck. Or Andy, or however you got it. It's going to be 1070. I like your hard hearing. Oh, thank you. Papa 
Uncle John, we're going to go home and eat this now. Yes, but when we open the, pic the box, you have to take a picture of it. Oh, and I'm going to tweet it to Susan. Okay. So how are we going to do that? How are we going to get the picture of I could. I know how. I will. I'll find a way. Want to put this hot thing on her lap? Ah, not really. <laughs> I guess. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's going to in a minute. It's burning. Oh, it smells like pizza in here. I know. It smells better than bleach. Well, uh, like tomorrow will be. Tomorrow will be the bleach smell. Loves this song for the sounds that he makes this song. That's not true. Sometimes you're just like, that's nice, and then you're like, well, I don't know what you want me to say. Anything but sorry. No, I'm just kidding. What? Um, don't you hate it when people apologize over and over again? Like, everything, like, I do it all the time. But like, I mean, like, one thing that somebody, like, you did to somebody, and, like, three days later, I'm so sorry. It's like, for what? I don't think I have to do that. No, but, it's like, I don't know an example. was all on prescription. Like, say you and your friend had a fight, and then three days later, I mean, y'all got, like, you worked everything out. Three days later, she's still apologizing to you for it. Like, I'm really sorry about what it is. Like, it's okay. I don't do that. Okay, people. Get out of the way. What kind of hell is this that you bring us? That guy with poles sticking off the back of his truck without a flag on him. That's against the law. Okay, yeah, buddy. I'm not supposed to do that. I think those are loose, too. They can just come flying off, but I don't really like following him. Justin runs, but he can't really because he can kind of waddle run because of his pants. Although in his wow. videos, his pants are always a little bit higher than they usually are. Because his manager's like, I think they made him for this one because, dude, if you're going to be running, you need to pull up your pants. There's a movie that's so funny. I can't remember what the name of it is, though. And it's a spoof on um, that dangerous mind. Mm -hmm. We never went by the movie thing. Anyway, um... These guys kept trying to climb the stairs with their pants like Justin's, and they kept falling down the stairs. Oh my gosh, on Ellen, okay. Ellen always pulls down his pants now. Yeah. And now that he, they're, he's on her show, like, every week. But, like, she always does that thing. She's like, you always do that thing where you try to pull down my pants, and he gets really annoying. So he stands up and he pulls them up all the way, and I'm just like... See, why can't you walk around like that? Because <laughs> he wears really tight Jack pants. Because yeah. he wears really tight pants. Yeah. He just can never tell. And so he pulls them up all the way. They're coming like right here. Yeah. And I'm just like, you can't walk around like that. And then he tries to run off stage. He wasn't wearing a belt either. Well, he was, and it just wasn't tight. Tight enough to hold up his pants. So when he turns, tries to run off stage, he stops and jumps up, pulls up his pants, and runs off stage. And you hear him go, ow! <laughs> I'm saying it's so funny. 
Like, that's why you don't jump up and gank army pants. Wait until they go up as far as they can go, and then you don't pull them up anymore. They've asked um, his mom, what do you, what does he do when you say, pull up your pants? And then everybody has said, he laughs. There's that guy. There's the penis guy. The small <laughs> penis guy that was whipping around corners. He's in the uh, kind of cars out. Uh, looks like a bus. I can't, can't really tell where it is. I think that was the band teacher. Wow. <laughs> Isn't that a car like it's annoying? No, his has the uh the racing stripes over the top. Oh. But it's saying, whoa there. Mr. Boyle. That looked like a young guy when he turned into that one place. I sang that in chorus and everybody's eyes uh, just kept going. I miss a lot Yeah. I'm gonna be in show choir this year, everybody. It's like Glee. You do dance routines with your music now. It'll be awesome. And it's all our performances. We'll have choreograph. We will do like choreography this year. Okay, well, it's fun. I hate choreography. I hope that you have a better time with it than I do. Oh, I, following always, I always want to do my own thing. Yeah. That's. I mean, for Beauty and the Beast, I had to get used to yeah. us doing the same thing, and I'm just like, this is so hard. Just yucky because it's this leg and this leg and this hand. And they said we're gonna start doing like you know more upbeat today songs. That would be awesome. Just to piss me off, bully boy. I'm gonna show you who's tough. I'm gonna shoot the dog. So tell me I'm gonna shoot the dog. All the time. That's right. Every day. I spend Saturday night on no game. All the pigs, but nobody came. I'm gonna shoot the dog. I'm gonna shoot the dog. Come on, ladies. Getting jiggy. People, did you see that fire in the city? The sleepy fresh out of all Democrats. Better get yourself a little something silly. My roses. They came back to life. I saved them in that my jasmine there. All them Gaza boys, all that holy stuff. I got the feeling when it all goes off, we're gonna shoot the dog. Shoot the dog. See ya.